Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, we're getting back to blues with routine number six of your blues self-accompaniment series. Now, by learning the previous routines, we've picked up a lot of licks and tricks, but the real goal in mind has always been to build a better sense of rhythm and timing. This is why I suggest you practice each routine with a metronome, being sure to tap your foot and count out loud as you go. Now, I prefer analog metronomes, such as the Tempe, which, because of its sturdy construction and affordable price, has earned it a very well-deserved five-star rating on Amazon. Now, I've reached out to our friends at Tempe, and they have agreed to discount their price, offer a two-year warranty, and also an ebook in collaboration with this video. So, the Tempe metronome, an awesome addition to any music room. Now, let's get started with your lesson. Okay, so before we get started with our practice, we're gonna set up the metronome. Uh, the first thing I wanna point out is that this little dial right here is gonna control the tempo. So we want this at about 80 beats per minute, uh, but if I wanted a faster tempo, I would just bring this down. Okay, a little bit too fast for this style of music though, so we're gonna put it at right around 80 for some comfortable practice. Now the other thing I wanna mention is to make sure that this little dial here on the side is wound up. In addition to that, you can set your uh, time signature with this dial here on the side. So if I want it in four, four time, which was, is what we'll be working with, I'll put it right on the four. All right, let's see if I did that right. Take this out. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that bell will ring uh, on the first beat, every four beats at four, four time. But I'm gonna take the bell out, so that way, and you know, basically you just push this all the way in and there'll be no chime sound, which is what I prefer. Two, three, four, one. That way I don't feel like I have to start on any specific beat. Okay, so now our metronome is set up and we're ready to get playing. Oh, one, two, three, four. Okay, getting started with routine number six of our blues self-accompaniment series. This one's gonna begin with an intro turnaround. It sounds like this. A one, two, three, four. Okay, so a couple of details I wanna point out first. I'm using hybrid picking, which means I'm not only going to be using my pick, but also my middle finger. Oftentimes, really snapping the string hard to get a little extra embellishment out of that note. Okay, so this is going to begin with two strikes of the low E string. I like to palm mute that, so I'm going to draw my hand back to the bridge. Make sure you have the right positioning. Then I'm going to slide up to the fifth fret of the A string, usually from the second or third fret. Then I'm gonna to go to the fourth fret of the G string. And then back to the fifth fret A. All right, deflecting back and forth between those notes. Repeat that on the fourth fret and third fret. Then do the same thing on the third and second fret. Then you're gonna be basically at an E7 shape next. Drawing back one more uh, fret, and we're gonna do a hammer on to the G string. So with my pick and middle finger, I plucked the A and G string as I hammered my first finger down onto the first fret. You put all that together, you have. All right, then we're gonna roll up. O, one, two on the A string, oftentimes palm muted as well. 
then we're gonna strike the B7 chord twice. Just two downstrokes. All right, the full Monty. Okay, let's see if you can play that intro turnaround with me tapping your foot and counting. One, two, three, four. One and two and a three and a four and a one and two and three, four and one. Okay, so if you were able to play through that intro turnaround, you're ready to move into the shuffle. This is gonna be one borrowed from the repertoire of Steve Ray Vaughan. It sounds like this. A one, two, and three, and four, and a one, and two, and three, and four, and a. All right, so that was a standard shuffle. And you're gonna stop on the three end. One, and two, and three, and. That was a pull off from three to zero on the low E string. Then using your middle finger, pluck the D string second fret. And it sounds better if you pluck that rather hard. I also want to mention that you should notice that I'm palm muting my way through this. One, two, and three, and four, and a one. All right, next we're gonna have a variation come through. We're gonna do the same thing. One, and two, and three, and. I strike the low E string on the end after the third beat, then I throw in this. All right, so I'll play that second part of the shuffle for you with my count. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four, and one. All right, so definitely a tricky variation here, but totally worth the practice. Again, you're gonna shuffle up to that third beat, one, two, and three, and just strike the low E string there. Then perform an A major chord with a bar. Then you're just gonna hammer on to the G string, open to the first fret. But then you gotta pivot your wrist to get back to the shuffle position. Oh. Accuracy, uh, you know, it's blues, so it doesn't have to sound super, super clean. In fact, if you can hit some other strings, uh, and doing that technique, especially on an electric guitar with a little bit of a uh, great, a little bit of distortion on it, it'll sound awesome. With the acoustic guitar, I like to try to sound a little cleaner. So practice it slow, then put them together. Just like that. Okay, so all those shuffles are being performed over the E chord. We're gonna have two more measures of E, and there we're gonna play. One, and two, and three, and four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a. All right, so that was for the third and fourth measures there. We're walking our way up to the A7 chord. Okay, so with the uh, Stevie shuffle, we're gonna play that one more time. Then the walk up to A7. Using our hybrid pick in there. O two O, low E string and D string. One and uh. Put the thumb around top and grab the F sharp. Two and uh. Middle finger grabs the G note on the low E string. Three and uh, and then your ring finger grabs the fourth fret, the G sharp. Four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh. I love that walk up. And then we're gonna get into some riffing on A major. Okay, let's put everything we have together so far for routine number six. One, two, three, four. Two and a three and a four and a one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and one two three and 
and four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. All right, now if you were able to play along with that, you're ready to move in to the A or A7 section. Okay, getting started with measure number five. The A7 chord has just come in. We walked up to it. It's gonna sound like this. And it's gonna get us right back into our shuffle. Okay, so this first riff over A7 is a repeat from a previous routine that we've done. It's gonna have this little shape here. It's a piece of an A9 chord. It'll start off with two strikes of the A string, palm mute it. You're gonna slide that A9 chord up a whole step and then right back again. Then we're gonna play the low A string and then strike that chord once more. Then play the low A string again and roll. Three, four, two. A string, three, four. D string, two. All right, let's look closer at that. Double A note. Slide the chord. Put it back. Then the A string. All right, staggered around that chord. A strum, A, three, four, two. riff for the A7 chord. One and two and three and a four and a. All right, so this one is a bit of a beast to count out. One and two and three and a four and a. Make sure you're using your tab from the Patreon site so that way you can see how all these licks and riffs line up with the beat. Okay, our second riff, uh, descending down the neck, it's gonna get us back into the E7 shuffle. It's gonna sound like this. All right, so I had three double stop shapes there. Five and five on the D and B. Four and three on the D and B. And three and three on the D and B. And that's going to be staggering with the low root, kind of going back and forth, okay? Using our hybrid picking, a, A. We're gonna go 505. That's the double fives, low A string, and then back. Then into that second position, we have uh, D string fourth fret, B string third fret. Same thing, staggering the double stops against the low root. Then do the same thing again in that third position. So the fives the four and three, the three and three. And then you're ready to get back into your shuffling. So one and two and a three and a four and a one. Okay, so that full bit over the A7 chords should sound like this. A one, two, three, four. One and two and three and a four and a one and two and a three and a four and a one. And you're back to your shuffle. Okay, so now we're returning back to the E7 chord for the shuffle on the, uh, the seventh measure. Here we're gonna simplify things, go back to a more easy shuffle that we've used in the previous routines, like this. One and two and three and four and a one and two and three and reprising our old lick there too. So that was just the basic kind of boogie woogie shuffle. We have two, two, four, four, two, two. Okay, talking the frets here. Then we're gonna have three, four, two. All right, that was a low E string. Rolling up, three, four, to the B note on the second fret A string. A great shuffle. So moving on to measure number eight, we have Counting out my beats. One and two and three and four and a. All right, the fret numbers two, two, four, four, two. Third fret, bend it up, 
open string, B string third fret, and the high E string finishes it up. Making sure to bend those third frets. You put those two measures together, we have just like that. Remember to count out loud and tap your foot as you go using your metronome uh, for your practice. Okay, so now we're almost all the way through our 12 bar blues. If you've made it that far, you're ready to move into the B7 chord, A7 transition. Four beats for each chord on the B7 chord will play. On the A7 chord. Uh, and then we'll have a closing turnaround over E, but we're not quite there yet. So for that B7 chord, you just have the second fret, the root note B, second fret A string, and then two strums of the B7 chord. So with the count, it'd be one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then we're gonna have a Steve Ray Vaughan style roll transition to the A. All right, so that was hammer and a pool. Zero, one, zero on the A string. Third fret, low A, uh, E string, maybe a little bit of a bend. And then the A string provides us with the root for the A7 chord. From there, we're gonna have this lick. All right, so that was a strum of the A7 chord. First fret, B string, second fret, B string, high E string, third fret, second fret, B string, and the high E string. I might pluck that with my finger. All those high E strings. All right, now we're ready for an E7 turnaround. Sounds like this. to wrap things up. So there I played uh, basically climbing up the neck up to the B. So we're going uh, E, G sharp, A, B flat, B, and we're going to go back and forth between the open string and those notes. So it'll be uh, two low E strings, 404, 505, 606, Seven, low E string, then two bar chords. A C7 chord to a B7 chord. So this is every single seventh chord shape in the book. A bar in the eighth fret, and I'm setting up kind of what looks like an E7 shape here, okay? Just like that. But, um, so that means that the ring finger will be on the 10th fret A string, and the middle finger on the 9th fret G string. Bring that back a half step. All right, for these chords, I love hammering on my middle finger. You're not gonna find that in the tab, but it is a cool little trick that's worth mentioning. All right, and then the whole thing will start again, or you could uh, go back in your shuffle or close up shop. Maybe with some slow picking around an E7 chord. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out Blues Routine number six. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons for all your support. I hope you're enjoying the tabs and other resources. And big thanks to our friends at Tempe for hooking us up with a great deal. I got many more videos coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.